Welcome to the video tutorial for the new FolioLink Image Archive front page. This front page presentation is optional, so you can keep your original Image Archive homepage if you like. Until you take the steps outlined in this video, your Image Archive homepage will keep its original thumbnail grid format. We'll compare the options in a moment. The new Image Archive front page has a fixed width to keep your formatting and line breaks consistent across different monitor sizes. The front page floats on a background where you can upload your own background image. As before, you have your top menu and logo at the top of the page. Here you have a new search area where visitors can go straight to the image or folder they're looking for, or click Go to enter the archive without doing a specific search. You'll notice the search area sits on a panel of rotating images. These images come from a folder which you select in the Options area. Here is a new area for front page text. You can use this to welcome visitors, list contact information, and more. And last, an area to list featured folders with descriptions. Now let's look at how to set up these options in the back end. Log into your Image Archive back end and click on Options. You'll see a new section at the top called General Interface. Click here and scroll down to Front Page Type. When you open this section for the first time, the front page type will be set as Thumbnails, the original format, which looks like this. Select the Slideshow and Featured option to switch to the new format. In this same area, click on Select Slideshow Folder to select the images that will rotate behind your search bar. Only the folders you have set as Featured will show in this list. We recommend you create a new Featured folder for the front page slideshow images. To set a folder as Featured, click on the Organize tab, go to the folder and click Edit. Open Display Options and check the box next to Featured. Note that you can set an optional start and end date here, so you can set your slideshow images to change over time. The recommended size for the front page slideshow images is 975 by 450 pixels. Back in the general interface area, you can enter front page text here. You have two choices for its placement. By default, it will display under your search bar. You can also enter a front page info label and check the box next to show in top menu. This will remove the text from the front page, and instead, visitors will see the text when they click on the link in the top menu. This link will stay visible with the rest of the top menu throughout the site, so it's a nice way to give visitors constant access to important information. The first time you access this general interface section, the folder thumbnail mode will be set to grid. The other option is column. This mode affects how the featured folders are displayed at the bottom of your front page or throughout the entire site. The grid thumbnails will look like this. With the column setting, the thumbnails will look like this. The column view works especially well if you have text descriptions to go with your featured folders. By default, if you choose the column option, your subfolders inside the archive will also be listed in columns. Or you can check the box next to Use only in the top folder so that the subfolders inside stay in grid format. When you set a folder in your image archive as a featured folder, the featured thumbnail displayed in the front page will usually be the first image thumbnail in the folder. We recommend that you create custom thumbnails for your featured folders that are 350 by 230 pixels. To add a custom thumbnail for a featured folder, click on your Organize tab, go to the folder, click Edit, open Display Options, and select Custom Thumbnail. Browse for your 350 by 230 image file and click Save Folder. To review, the search bar slideshow and featured folders should all be marked as featured folders on the back end. The slideshow folder should contain images that are 975 by 450 pixels, and each featured folder should have a custom folder thumbnail that is 350 by 230 pixels. If you have any questions or would like to know more about your options with FolioLink, we invite you to contact us by email at info at foliolink.com.